iOS developers okay we are welcome to the fourth video in this series of rust control so if you don't have your gazebo launch already launch it and make sure you have your manipulator as we have it here okay so what we want to do now is we want to control each of these joints with rqtg instead of from commands from our terminal okay so we need to launch rqtg first so i just do rust run RQTG so it launches RQTG and I want to place it side by side with my gazebo so it takes some um, few seconds to launch Okay, so this is my RQTG. So basically, if you are launching it for the first time, you might not have something like this. You might have something similar to this. So if you are having this, what you need to do is you come to plugins, you come to topics, and you click on message publisher. Okay, so it is going to show all the topics you have currently running. So you can see. So what I need to do is each of the topics I want to publish to, I need to add them. So I click on joint one. You can see the message type. I change the frequency to 50 and I click on the checkbox on the plus button. And I add all my other topics in the same way. 50. I add joint theory. I add joint 4 I add joint 5 okay joint 5 I add joint 6 I add so basically, after doing this, let me place it side by side with Gazebo. So, okay. So basically now what we want to do is I want to publish to each of these joints. So what I need to do is you can see the expression. I just double click on this 0.0. .0 I put 1.0 there. And if I want to publish, I just click on the, on, on this place is a checkbox we can see how it moves so now i can return it back so i can also come to the i can actually publish to different joints at the same time that is what i want to do now so i just come here and i add 1.0 1.0 minus one so i can change this to one again you can see our robot moves i can change this to minus one so basically that is how to publish we can also do we can put a sign a sign frequency into it so basically i just do sign i if i use i it uses the time of the system and i all over 50 and i want it to move between the maximum and good joint so my joint limit is around 180 degrees so times 1.57 so which means that joint theory is going to be moving between you can see between 1.57 okay so i can return this guy to zero i can return all other guys to zero return them to zero them to zero so basically it's only joint theory that is moving now so between 180 and minus 180 so that is what rqt g allows us to do so 
so you can also adjust and change some other things in it you can change sign so you can you can change so you can also make this other guy you can do sign i all over 50 times 1.57 so we can see two joints are moving together so two joints are moving together we can also do the same thing sign i all over 50 so now it's three joints so basically that is what we have and that is how to use acuity gear in the next tutorial i'm going to show i'm going to be showing how to use the python script we create a node with our python script and we are going to publish directly all this expression and we are going to see how it works too with python script okay see you in the next tutorial